I'm ready. I'm ready. Are you ready? Ha ha. Bingo. Cheers. Cheers to you. Rocking a skinny mug today, Drew, I see. Yeah, this is the mug that you have the evening before when it's too late to actually have coffee, but you don't want to wake up with a caffeine headache. Just need a little bit. A little bit. Yeah, not that Fair I drink enough. that much coffee. <laughs> <laughs> no, of course not. <laughs> anyway, uh, happy Father's Day. To you Belated. as well, sir. Yes, to you indeed. as well. Did you do anything fun? Um, installed some light fixtures. That seems like a yeah. fathery thing to do. It kind of needed to happen, yeah. Nice. Yeah. I painted the little roof covering that goes over top of our bay window. Look at this. And mow the lawn. Dad, thanks. Yeah, doing dad stuff. <laughs> anyway. Uh, we're here to talk about the Lamy USA. Whoa! Pen. Isn't that fancy looking? I'm just kidding. This yeah. is just the outer sleeve. But the pens themselves come in this snazzy packaging. That's actually pretty cool. Yeah, this is exclusive packaging that I've never seen before that is now coming on these pens, the red, white, and blue, to reveal the red, white, and blue pen. So, yes. That's this is really on. cool, and this is not, is cool? I think a lot of people probably own Safaris or All-Stars, and they know what that gray slatted package looks like, so this is definitely yeah. something special. Yeah, exactly, and this is this is interesting because it's the first U.S. exclusive that Lamy's ever had, which is kind of cool. And every year we have a big, huge Lamy exclusive for the All-Star and the Safari, oh, yeah. and we've never had one for just the state, so this is a huge deal. It is a pretty big deal. We've seen them come, uh, they've had some exclusives in, in other places in the world. Uh, but this is the first of ours. So that's kind of cool, you know. And they tailored it to the U.S. Exactly. <laughs> Very obviously. I mean, it's pretty, it's 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 a safari. Yeah. So, I mean, if you know the safari, you're going to know this pen. Right. Um, it does have kind of a multi-toned look to it. Which you could say that. I know some people are not a huge <laughs> fan of, and that's totally fine. Yeah, some people are going to be um, very much a fan of it, though. Yeah, exactly. And uh, so, uh, red, white, and blue, red and white cap, blue body, uh, extra fine, fine, and medium nib. Fountain pen version is $36. Look at that. Keep it together, man. And the roller ball is... I actually look like better posted. I don't yeah, know why. well, you have to have the, the colors coming together. It does look really good. Yeah. Uh, and then we we opted for the roller ball version on this too. We normally don't do. We used to carry the roller balls a few years ago. They weren't hot sellers for us because we really are fountain pen people. Yeah. But we opted for the roller ball on this one just because it was like the USA thing. So we we did it. Okay. <laughs> uh, so because we haven't carried the roller ball before, I wanted to talk just a second about it. Um, because we just have it for this one batch. I don't know if, if y'all are really interested in rollerballs ongoing, we can always consider them. Uh, we just haven't done them because they are not nearly as popular. As it comes with blue. It comes with blue. It always comes with blue cartridge, but it comes with a blue rollerball too. And it's the M53 uh, rollerball refill and M63. Um, M63. Whoops. M63. Yeah, see, I got my numbers mixed up. Skadoosh. Let's make that. Correction. Sheboygan. Boop, there All we right. go. So I wrote out both, Andy, I don't know if you want to get that or get it after the fact, but I did a writing with both. I used a fine nib on the fountain pen with Lummy Blue Black, and then that shows the blueness of the blue refill. Look how you corrected that, that, that five to a six. That's talent. <laughs> with the blue black, I too. respect that. Uh, should you, though? It's fantastic, it's Brian. It's not that great. Don't you let anybody tell you any differently. It works in a pinch. <laughs> uh, but anyway, the rollerball is really smooth. It's pretty saturated. I find that it performs pretty well on most papers. I'm not like a rollerball expert here, but I think uh, if you are a fan of rollerballs, uh, it's going to be pretty standard fare. It's not like super fine. It's probably going to be close to like a, um, like the not the boldest size, but the next boldest of like a Pilot G2. It's kind of comparable. To you want to hear something crazy? Lay it on me. I do not have a single fountain pen in my home. Really? You know what I do have? What do you have? A Lamy rollerball. Interesting. I, you leave all your fountain pens here. I do. All my fountain pens are here. But I use it a lot. I use it in my uh, Some Lines a Day book. Really? Well, when I get when I do it. Why don't you have a fountain pen at home? I don't know. I just don't write at home other than that. And then, you know, I let uh, my wife update that sometimes too. And, you know, I don't trust her with a fountain pen because the last one she had, she destroyed. Just kidding. It just was <laughs> neglected. <laughs> <laughs> but no, it's a great rider. They are nice wow. and saturated, super smooth too. I love riding with a lobby rollerball. I do. Yeah. I do, I do, I do. One thing definitely uh, don't think you can do is swap somehow the gr the actual the business end of the mm. rollerball to the fountain pen. You can't take yeah, a feed so. and put it in here, and no. you can't take this and put it in there. It's just, no. Um, it's even different if you can, guts. Different yeah, guts. I really don't think you can. I think they're no. different. So. I don't think so. But um, we haven't talked about this in a while. We have videos on this about how you can swap the Lamy nibs because I have gotten some comments on my Instagram about like, hey, why doesn't it have a broad nib or a stub or something like that? Um, if you haven't seen this trick before, 
This is a super old video that we've done, but you can take a piece of scotch tape and you can lay it over top. And then you can, let's see if I can do this. I did not. A lot of them are tighter than uh, others. There you go. Yeah. So you can kind of wiggle it off. And then even when it's inked like this, now I'm going to get ink all over my fingers, which makes me happy. <laughs> uh, and then you can take your regular nib and you can just put it back on there. Thanks, Andy. And then you just slide it back on there. Boop. And a lot of them are different. Some of them take wiggling and patience to get them off. Sometimes they yes. slide off really quickly. Yeah. So, but there you go. That's how you swap nibs if you're so inclined. Uh, fountain pen and rollerball, we have both of them. Uh, it's kind of a one-shot deal for us, so I don't know how long they're going to last. We stocked them pretty decently on the fountain pens. The rollerballs, we have no idea how they're going to do. So, um, you know, we'll give it a shot. I think they're pretty fun. I think so too. I like looking at so, them. So, um, you know, props to Lamy USA for uh, getting this thing going. Yeah. The USA pen. And it's a really cool thing to be a part of the very first US exclusive. Yeah, it is pretty cool. So anyway, let us know what you think in the comments. Um, you can check them out on gullypens.com. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Hope you all have a great day and right on.